hello students in last lecture we have studied about the mutation and its types in today's lecture we will see about some quick revision about mutation and its types and then we will start different types of mutagenic agents that is physical mutagenic agents and chemical mutagenic agents if you have not subscribed this microbiology by santosh napte so kindly subscribe this youtube channel so that you will get notification after uploading new videos regarding your syllabus as well as multiple choice questions because in next month or in june month there will be exams and that may be of mcq type so i am uploading that videos on multiple choice questions of different papers of microbiology so kindly subscribe this youtube channel so let's start about the quick revision of mutation and its types so what is mean by mutation so mutation it is the sudden change in the sequence of nucleotides of dna and these mutations they may be spontaneous mutation or it may be induced mutation so there are mutagenic agents are there which are actually responsible for the sudden change in the sequence of dna molecule or which is responsible for the mutation and that mutagenic agents these are of three different types one is chemical mutagenic agents or simply it is called as mutagens second one is radiations and third one is biological mutagenic agents so mutation it is the process that produces an inheritable alterations or changes in dna structure or in chromosome structure and as i told earlier here there are two types of mutations one is spontaneous mutation and second one is induced mutation mutation which we have already learned so what is mean by spontaneous mut mutation so spontaneous mutation which occurs due to the natural errors during dna replication or recombination these are caused by background radiations and these are arises randomly as a result in different cells and there is no artificial treatment so this spontaneous mutation actually these are the mutations which are taking place naturally then induced mutation these are caused by the exposure to known mutagenic agents or simply these are called as mutagens so what is mutagen or what is mean by mutagenic agents so mutagen or mutagenic agent is a natural or a human made agent which can alter the structure or sequence of genetic material and induces the mutation simply that mutagenic agent or mutagen it causes the changes in the sequence of nucleotides of genetic material so that agent is called as mutagenic agent or it is called as mutagen so there are three types of mutagenic agents which are classified according to their sources for example chemical mutagens or chemical mutagenic agents then radiations and third one is here biological mutagenic agents or biological mutagens so one by one we are going to see here so chemical mutagenic agents includes base analogs actually these are the chemicals and that includes base analogs then chemical modification agents and intercalating agents then these radiations these are the physical mutagenic agents which includes ionizing radiations and ultraviolet radiations and third type of mutagenic agents are called as biological mutagenic agents and the example is transposable elements or which are also called as jumping genes so one by one we are going to see here the first one is chemical mutagenic agents and the first one is here base analogs so these base analogs these are the chemicals which are structurally resemble or these are structurally similar to normal bases that is purines and pyrimidines they incorporate into the dna molecule during dna replication and they lead to the incorrect insertion of a nucleotide opposite them 
in a replication process so because of insertion of a incorrect nucleotide the sequence of that daughter dna molecule will be changed that is nothing but that mutation will be takes place so these are the examples of base analogs one is 5 bromo uracil or in short it is called as 5 bu and second one is 2 amino purines that is 2 ap these are the structures of this is the structure of 5 bromo uracil and this is the structure of 2 amino purine so both of these mutagenic agents these are the base analogs that is they are structurally similar to the <coughs> nucleotides or that purine and pyrimidines so 5 bromo uracil it is a analog of pyrimidine so it resembles thymine which is a nitrogen base present in the dna molecule then it has bromine atom at carbon 5 instead of methyl group as in thymine so at carbon 5 in normal thymine molecule there is a presence of that methyl group here but in 5 bromo uracil there is a bromine is present so it, it resembles thymine and this 5 bromo uracil it can incorporate into dna and it pair with either adenine or guanine due to tautomerization process we have learnt in this previous video that is mutation and its types so you can watch that video again then next one see this is the fibromyracil as i told here it is analog of, of a pyrimidine and this is the tautomerization process here there is a spontaneous structural alterations between two forms that is keto form and enol form so this is the keto form here which is keto form of the 5 bromo uracil and which is the common keto form so here adenine so there is a pairing bit shown between adenine and this 5 bromo uracil and this is the ionized form of 5 bromo uracil and it is paired with guanine so there is a tautomerization takes place here and there is a pairing with wrong nucleotide so next one how there is a or what is the mechanism of this 5 bromo uracil in mutation so there is a transition process takes place that is adenine thymine to guanine cytosine so here this is the dna molecule having the base pairing or this nucleotides here adenine pairing with thymine and there is a mutation takes place here in which that adenine pairs with 5 bromo uracil which is a base analog so when there is a replication takes place here so adenine thymine then adenine 5 bromo uracil and guanine 5 bromo uracil so there is a whatever this nucleotides or dna molecules will be here these are the mutant dna molecule because the sequence of this dna molecule is changed and this is the normal dna molecule so after the replication of this dna molecule one will be this dna another one will be this normal dna or we can call wild dna molecule so in this way there is a transition process takes place because of this 5 bromo uracil which is a base analog then transition to that is guanine cytosine to adenine thymine see this is the normal dna molecule having the nucleotides guanine and cytosine so when there is a replication takes place this two daughter dna molecules will be formed one is normal having guanine and cytosine and another one will be mutated dna molecule so where there is a guanine pairing with 5 bromo uracil so, so when again there is a replication of this dna molecule takes place and one normal dna will be formed and another dna that is having the adenine pairing with 5 bromo uracil and when this dna molecule get replicated so whatever that two daughter dna molecules will be formed here so both daughter dna molecules they have the changed sequence so that means there is a mutation takes place so this is the incorporation that is replication after incorporation this is the guanine cytosine then after replication guanine will be there then fibromyuracil will be there and this is the normal dna molecule having guanine cytosine again in second replication so there is the guanine cytosine will be there then adenine fibromyuracil again this is the mutant dna molecule and here also there is a adenine pairing with this fibromyuracil or guanine cytosine so in this way there is a mutation takes place and this replication after incorporation so replication 1 addition of there adenine pairing with fibromyuracil replication 2 so in this way there is a mutation 
फॉर्मिंग बेसलेस साइड और मिस पेयरिंग सो इट सो दिस वेन देर इज अ प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस केमिकल मॉडिफाइंग एजेंट सो दे कॉजेस म्यूटेशन आफ्टर रिप्लीकेशन एंड देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बेसलेस साइड दैट इज देर इज अबसेंस ऑफ नाइट्रोजन बेसेस और देर इज अ मिस पेयरिंग टेक्स प्लेस इंस्टेड ऑफ नॉर्मल पेयरिंग एंड देर आर टू कॉमन केमिकल मॉडिफिकेशन एजेंट्स आर देर वन इज दैट इज अल्क्युलेटिंग एजेंट्स and another one is deaminating agents so here first we will see alkylating agents so they modify the normal bases by adding alkyl groups and these common alkylating agents includes ethyl methane sulfonate then nitrosogonidin then di 2 chloroethyl sulfide or which is called as sulfur mustard and then di 2 chloroethyl methyl amine which is called as nitrogen mustard so all these are the alkylating agents which adds or which modifies that normal bases by addition of alkyl groups so this is the alkylating agents here that is ethyl methane sulfonate or in short it is called as emas this is the structure of ethyl methane sulfonate then how these ethyl methane sulfonate causes the mutation so here this is the guanine and in presence of this ethyl methyl ethyl methane sulfonate there is a formation of ortho 6 ethyl guanine which pairs with the thymine so there is a pairing between this thymine and this ortho 6 ethyl guanine so there is a that pairing changes from guanine cytosine to adenine thymine so in this way it causes the mutation then another one is here thymine so in presence of ethyl methyl sulf ethyl methane sulfonate so ortho 4 ethyl thymine which is pairing with guanine so there is a thymine adenine to cytosine guanine mutation takes place here the next one deaminating agents so oxidative deamination of amino group in adenine guanine and cytosine takes place so this is the cytosine deamination takes place deamination means here removal of amino group and after deamination in cytosine it results into the formation of urea acid so that cytosine after deamination produces urea acid now there are different types of deaminating agents for example nitrous acid that is hno2 which is one of the common deaminating agents and it convert the amino group into keto group that is nh2 group into double bond o group and it change the hydrogen bonding potential of the modified bases that is because of this nitrous acid or hno2 so what is the mechanism of nitrous acid that adenine it get converted to hydro that is hydroxanthine so this is the normal base that is adenine and in presence of nitrous acid it get converted to hypoxanthine here not hydro hypoxanthine and later on which pairs with the cytosine so actually there should be guanine when there is a cytosine is present here so in this way there is a mutation takes place because of this nitrous acid then in case of cytosine get changes to urea acid so this is the cytosine and in presence of nitrous acid it get converted to urea acid and then it pairs with adenine so in this way there is a change in nucleotide sequence takes place or there is a mutation takes place then guanine get converted to xanthine again that is in presence of this nitrous acid so guanine in presence of nitrous acid so it results into the formation of xanthine and then it pairs with the cytosine so in this way there is a change in the nucleotide sequence takes place resulting into mutation 
then next one is here chemical mutagens that is intercalating agents so these intercalating agents these are group of aromatic organic molecules and roughly these are these are having the same dimensions as nitrogenous base pairs and they intercalate or they wedge between the base pairing so these chemical mutagenic agents that is intercalating agents they cause addition or deletion of base pairs of intact dna molecule so there will be addition of base pair or base or there is a deletion or removal of the bases and in this way they alter or they change the reading frame of a gene so which results into the non functional gene product or non functional proteins so what is the mechanism of intercalating agents See, this is the normal dna molecule here this is the nitrogenous bases and these intercalating agents they get inserted or they get intercalated between these strands here or between the nitrogen bases in normal dna molecule so common intercalating agents includes 2,8 diamino acridine which is called as proflavin or acridine orange so this is the proflavin here and acridine orange so these are the structures of these two intercalating agents one is proflavin which is called as 2,8 diamino acridine and second one is here acridine orange then next one is here physical mutagenic agents so in next lecture we will see about the physical mutagenic agents so watch this full video and kindly subscribe this microbiology by santosh napte so in next lecture we will see about the physical mutagenic agents and biological mutagenic agents thank you